Hello friends, uh, today we discuss about uh, F block elements. So already in the last classes we completed S block, P block, D block. Okay, so already we know uh, this classification of elements into blocks is based on differentiating electron. So you remember what is the differentiating electron? So the electron which is newly entered. The electron which is newly entered in an element is called its differentiating electron. If it is present in S, S block, P, P block, N minus 1D, that is a D block. Now here, same, it is also F block also we define as the differentiating electron uh, entering. But the it is not in the valency shell. It is not in the penultimate shell. It is present in anti-penultimate shell. So what is mean by anti-penultimate shell? For example, what is the valency shell? Outermost shell is called generally ultimate. We know ultimate means the final, the valency shell. We say it is nth. What is penultimate shell? No penultimate equal to n minus 1. Next here, anti-penultimate. Anti penultimate, it's called n minus 2. Okay. Then last but second, my d, d block limb differentiation of uh, the electrons. If the differentiating electron, the elements in which the elements in which differentiating electron is present in n minus 1d, last but one, no d sub shell and right, it's called the d block elements. F block law in the the elements, the elements in which differentiating electron is present in n minus 2f subshell, nothing but n minus 2f orbitals, n minus 2f orbitals, no, then that is treated as a F block elements, okay. So F cover but F block, okay. But what is the difference under S and P came more N shell under S block and P block elements. So, if a D block element is, it is a penultimate shell, last but one shell. And the F block elements the same, F orbital la enter wali, but it is a N minus 2 la enter wali, but in definition separate we are mentioning this. Okay. So, now, we read the definition. How we can define? So the elements in which the differentiating electron the elements in which differentiating electron is present N minus 2 F subshell or orbitals. Are called F block elements. Okay, the elements in which differentiating electron is present in n minus 1 to this is okay n minus 1 to f orbital or called f block elements if you know in the periodic table if you observe the periodic table uh, which elements have this character means uh, lanthanides and actinides we know the uh, elements uh, which are taken at the bottom of the periodic table in two rows our main periodic table will discuss this now. So, main periodic table body kid the two horizontal rows on the 14 plus 14 28 elements on the so as well the they separately treated as F block elements because uh, if you observe their electronic configurations and like electron configuration observe this thing uh, we can uh, we can observe that uh, the differentiating electron is coming at the n minus 2 f orbitals okay. So, what is the general electronic configuration we can write? So, general electronic configuration is uh, 
एज माइनस टू एफ वन टू फोर्टीन बिकॉज एफ सब शो हाउ मेनी आर्बिटॉल्स आर देर सेवन आर्बिटॉल्स आर देर सो इच आर्बिटॉल है टू टू इलेक्ट्रॉन सो टोटल फोर्टीन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स का बट वन तो स्टार्ट है फोर्टीन तो एंड आउट है दस वाई देर इज अ फोर्टीन एलिमेंट्स आर प्रेजेंट इन वन रो सो एन माइनस वन डी जीरो आर वन एन एस टू सो ऐसा लिख रहा एन एस टू एन माइनस वन डी वन उड़ा रहे एन माइनस डी वन एन तरवाता आई प्रेफर एग्जांपल ओके वी सी द एलिमेंट्स सो एलिमेंट्स उसे वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड सो दिस इज द जनरल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फ़िगरेशन ऐसा लिख रहा एन एस टू एन माइनस वन डी वन उ सो जीरो आलो टेक्स प्लेस इन रेर केसेस सो एट मन की थ्री डी सीरी एलमेंट्स फर् क्रोमीयम कापर द फोर एस एलक्ट्रॉन एट्लाफ्ट सो अभी मोडल्ल दींट डी वन उ वन एलक्ट्रॉन को सामने एफ शिफ्ट अवत एफ शिफ्ट एन मैनस वन डी बिकम्स जीरो दट वै वी रिटर्न जीरो काम वन सो मैक्सीम एलमेंट ओनली एन मैनस वन डी वन उ when some particular elements law there is a zero is present okay now we see which elements uh, are under f block So next, if you see, so which elements are having? So the block elements are present in two series. They are present in two horizontal rows. Where they are present, we know that at the bottom of the periodic table. at the bottom of the periodic table okay so we'll call uh, so what are that one is called 4f series so what is called 4f series 4f series are also known as lanthanides okay lanthanides sometimes it is also known as lanthanides okay so there are also one more name this is called rare earth elements they are also known as sometimes uh, they have different names lanthanides lanthanides rare earth elements okay now so, see what are the elements so the elements already we know they start from cerium what about the cerium this starts at cerium 58 okay next what is the ending point it is a 71 okay cerium 2 lutetium so now we read the elements okay so promethium the neodymium so this is pr praseodium okay praseodium neodymium next to promethium pm promethium next samarium next european next gd can you get this gadolinium terbium dispraseodium so at this prosium not praseodium dispraseum dispraseum holmium erbium thulium ytterbium thulium ytterbium cerium to lutetium so what is the lutetium it is a 71 okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 okay the starting element is 58 The ending element is seventy-one. So actually, we need to remember 
these elements because in some question it is uh, they are there uh, this uh, dysprosium belongs to which series so like that need to have to remember so no need to about the know the configuration now this we have to remember which elements are present in 4f series okay so then so why they treated as 4f series because the electrons differentiating electron enter into 4f subshell so need know 4f1 to start out the kada 4f14 okay i think now 4f subshell fill up ayipothu ga but it is called a 4f series so i like the manam d block lo 3d series 4d 5d 6d series and now so why given that name 3d series 4d series like that because the uh, then of filling and they can start out the uh, total the uh, uh, here starting and ending of uh, 3d subshell takes place so scandium to zinc configurations we know perfect you should perfect uh, uh, the configuration up to 30 this compulsory but scandium to 30 name antam 3d series antam so that was scandium 3d1 4s2 what is a zinc one zinc is 3d10 4s2 and ikkada 3d to enter ayindi 3d to start ayindi 3d to end ayipoyindi that's why the treat that elements are treated as the 3d series elements in the same way if you write this configuration so we don't need configurations no need now because there are lots of atomic numbers so we will observe this day 4f 4f subshell subshell electron filling start out the last cycle addition of 4f14 complete ipo the this way they treated as a 4f series element now i write the reason why they call 4f series means uh, filling of 4 sub 4f subshell takes place so in these elements filling of 4f subshell takes place okay next one more important so that's why they called as a 4f series elements here one more important why they are treated as lanthanides okay. so why they are treated as lanthanides means a uh, sim very simple reason simply they started they started after lanthanum so lanthanum tarvata started the kabatte simply they treat as a lanthanides and their properties are also properties and their structures are also similar to lanthanide so that's why they called as a they see the structure is similar to lanthanum okay lanthanum 57 that's why dantra the 14 elements are treated as a lanthanides okay this starts after lanthanum after lanthanum 57 therefore they treated as lanthanides and their property is also similar to lanthanide therefore therefore they known as lanthanides next what is the other name for it they are also known as rare earth elements because in the uh, if you see their uh, abundance in the earth uh, is a very less content okay less con less amount lo manaki earth lo osthe kabatti we are able to find them in the earth in less very less amounts that's why they treat as rare earth elements so next uh, so so they belongs to which group so already manaki 
if you observe the de Bloch elements so de Bloch elements ko just ok sir manam series kada total series ka apna starting kada to 3d series ko what is that scandium titanium vanadium up to zinc so what is the 4d series yttrium zirconium niobium molybdenum like that so now we see what is the 5d series so 5d series lo em to start kada lanthana 57 next hafnium Okay, seventy-two. So next ending up to mercury very good. So six G series, six G series, actinium, eighty-nine. So it's very good. F block low. So next actinium they get separate them well. So get a lanthanum fifty-seven. So actually the the three D belongs to which period? Fourth period. This belongs to which period? Fifth period. This belongs to sixth period. Let's last to check on actinium seventh period last. I will last it down. Seventh, uh, the six G series and name it them. So that is actinium eighty nine. Uh, next, what is that? Uh, rutherfordium. Sorry, rutherfordium. That is one hundred four. So now we are discussing about uh, this uh, lanthanides. Okay, lanthanides. So they started after lanthanum. Just now we given the names uh, from fifty eight. So fifty eight to seventy one names. It's the manam cerium and chelodium. So they treat as a lanthanum because they started after lanthanum. So in lanthanum, our periodic table law, see vertical column. So in lanthanum, tarvata they presented the bottom of the table. The in tarvata, I mean, the lanthanum, lanthanides, so they fourteen lanthanides. That's why they treat as a lanthanides and all. So it is important the so in which period, in which group they belongs lanthanum. So why we are giving this information? Deep log that day. सो दे मैं डिस्कस ए ग्रूप ए पीरियड सो अभी मन को अवसर सो इक लांथनम तर स्टार्ट दसो बिलांग सें ग्रूप वी ग्रूप दिश ग्रूप थर्ड बी ग्रूप नथिंग बट सिंपली थर्ड वर्टिकल कॉलम इन दीरियाडिक टेबल सो स्टार चूस थर्ड बी इवच्छ सो जनरल नंबर दलो थर्ड वर्टिकल कॉलम मीन Lanthanides belongs to third period, sorry, third group. That is, but third B group. In which period they belongs? They belongs to sixth period. Okay. So bottom one should one mean bottom one is seventh period. So last but one is the sixth period. Okay. So now, now we write it right? belongs to which group and which period. Okay, right. Uh, so lanthanide belongs to which group and in which periods? So lanthanide so belongs to sixth period and which group? Third B. Nothing but it is not there, but equal vertical column. What a third is also okay. Third B group. In long form of periodic table. Okay. So next, uh, some very important one. Total how many elements are there? There is the lanthanide. So there are fourteen elements. Okay. So this is about. Uh, Lanthanides. Okay. Next we see about the uh, other F block series. Here we have the actinides. Okay. So you have to maintain the notes very clear notes. Okay. Next, we see about two actinides or five F series. So actinides. So what are the actinides? Same so, because actinides are also called five F series elements. And so why they are five F series? And we know uh, the subshell. Like that, fill up by a subshell. And then five F one to start. Or the ending with five F fourteen. 
So what are the elements? Uh, so actinides, nothing but uh, it is called five F series. So five F series elements. So what are the five F series elements? So now we see it starts from thorium. Thorium nineteen will start. Actinium eighteen nine. Tarva to actinium tarva to start it. Okay. So thorium, protactinium, uranium. Neptunium, Neptunium, Np, Plutonium, Samarium, sorry, Plutonium, that is having Americium, Americium, Curium, Berkelium. Californium, Einsteinium, Fermium, Fm. So this first will be captured. So Mendelevium, Nobelium, Laurentium. Nobelium, Laurentium. This is a one or three. And what is the starting element? So ninety two one or three. These elements start from ninety and ends with the uh, one or three. Total how many elements are there? Total there is fourteen elements. Okay, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty fourteen elements uh, are in actinides. So now we see why they are treated as the uh, five F series elements. We call them the five F. Then like the start of the thorium there the configuration. Five F to start it. Five F one to start it. So one, two, three, four, five. But there are only abnormal configuration. At least, I mean, like copper, chromium, three D series club abnormal. There are such also abnormalities. But final, the Lorentz is having five F fourteen. Means uh, in these elements, five uh, F series is substantially is uh, filling continuously. In these elements, filling of five F substantial takes place. Okay, so why they are now known as actinides? So already we know the reason. So lanthanides for discuss this now. Lanthanides so lanthanum tarvata start hotel. Ekar mat ki so actinium so D block loan actinium eighty nine tarvata start hotel. Ka but they treat as actinides and also their properties also follows sir uh, equal similar to the actinium. Okay. This starts after actinium. And their properties are similar. Similar to actinium. A C means here actinium. This is eighty nine. Okay. So next, uh, so uh, if you observe these elements, uh, so the starting three elements. Uh, what are that? Actually, sorry, actually, we are talking about thorium. So uh, we write one more point here. So thorium ninety. So protactinium ninety one, uranium ninety two. So on next one key up to one or three. There is a little Laurentium. So why are saying again means uh, these first three elements are actually the present in nature. So nature man key. So nature lo elements under. Nature means uh, general in the form of soil. Because soil lo na man key uh, we are able to get uh, these metals. So these elements, these elements. In the form of their minerals, 
So, kapatay, so next 92 tarawat elements. 92 tarawat 103 elements were given to them. They are not naturally occurring elements. They are totally made in laboratories by using different compounds with the help of different reactions. In the laboratory, they are prepared. I mean, they are treated as the synthetic elements. Synthetic elements means uh, not naturally occurring elements. Okay. They are called as man-made elements. After uranium carbonate, they are also known as transuranic elements. I mean, the elements uh, after uranium. In the actinides, the elements after uranium are called man-made elements. Nothing but synthetic elements and they are not occurring in the nature. Okay, so that's important point of uh, this F-block elements. So these actinides. So lanthanides, all, all lanthanides present in the nature, but in a very less amount. So the elements. So in actinides, the elements after, after this U means uranium, uranium 92. are man-made called synthetic elements synthetic elements they are also known as they are also known as transuranic elements So this is important point. That if you observe them, so most of these elements, most of uh, not only actinides, most of the lanthanides and actinides are radioactive. So these these points are about related to the actinides. Now we see, uh, now we see lastly some points about the total F block. Okay. So I will just now discuss about their other names. But one more name, total F block combined just one, 4 F series, 5 F series combined just see. There is one, one name is there that is called inner transition elements. So why they are called inner transition elements? It's very simple. Just if you see the periodic table, uh, we can observe. So for example, uh, what are the lanthanides and the 4 F series elements in my game? So cerium 58 to uh, lutetia. 72. The 4F series. At the 4F series, cut the there is a lanthanum 57. So this is ending point. So ending tarvata after 70, sorry, 71 here. 71 tarvata 72 half neon. And they, they are present, their atomic numbers are present between the 57 and 72. 58 to 71 4F series elements and then these automatic numbers are lie between 57 and 72. So 57, 82 merge like a day. So actually the 57, 57 lanthanum is a D block, the transition element. Half name is also a transition element. They present between the two transition elements covered that treat as in the transition elements. Next if you see the 5F series. So 5F series what is the starting element? Thorium. Thorium 90, next uh, Laurentium 103. So these elements, actually 90 can be before element degree 89, that is Actinium. Next 103, Travata, Rutherfordium 104. So 104 ki, 189 ki middle on like, these atomic numbers lie between the 89 and 104, that is 90 to 103. Here Actinium is the D block transition element. Here, Ruther 40 is also D block transition element. So that's why they are also treated as inner transition elements. Means, uh, what is the other name of a uh, block elements? And uh, they are also called inner transition elements. Okay. So, 
So what is the reason? That this is the reason. Yes, we have to understand. No need to write the separately these atomic numbers. If you want to write, you can write in this model. elements are also called inner transition elements. Okay, so this was about uh, F block elements. If you write there a common oxidation number, the common oxidation state of uh, F block elements is uh, so plus 3. So most of them are radioactive. Next, they are all so you accept urium. So only we said the synthetic elements. No? Synthetic elements are they, they are present in a man-made element. They are present in very less amounts. Very less amount of the different laboratory means uh, for example, how much uranium is present in that we can't uh, calculate it because uh, uh, earth, earth the earth natural coastal property there is a large amount of uranium is present uh, in the world. But uh, we are able to know the amounts of trans uranic elements. If the world of total uh, trans uranic elements uh, and the percentage sorry and the amount though there is a calculation is there because total man made elements are uh, but and some a few particular laboratories to laboratory to prepare this therapy. Kabati are trans uranic elements in world matam lo manaki. So any grams on I. So I uh, there is a calculation is there. So that uh, a particular counting on the manager. Okay, but no need to know about that calculations. Okay. So this was about a block elements. Okay. Now, if you see the picture, the total picture of blocks, so after completion of the total block, you have to draw this. Uh, what is the position? Just write the positions of this S block, left side, this is P block, this is D block, this is F block. So, uh, D block low, how many series are there? Set 3D, 4D, 5D, 6D are present. Here, how many are there? 4F series, 5F series. Okay, so when it is having the two groups, what are the groups? If you are right, if you are able to write it, write the groups also. Here, one, two. And how many groups are there? Six groups are there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, here only two groups are present. Okay, this is about the, this is, this was the total perfect information about the, SPDF blacks. So at lastly again I want to say that you have to perfect in the total element, total one or four elements. You must know the names and position in the periodic table. Okay. 